Hey guys, Cool Brick here with another uh, video that is uh, long overdue. Um, so I'm just gonna give a little update that uh, has very little to do with the city and any other Lego related things. It's kind of just more of a uh, YouTube update. So I uh, pretty much didn't have any way to monetize my channel um, before turning 18. Um, and I've been 18 for three or four months, so I applied for monetization on the YouTube channel and it was approved. And I'm going to be pretty blunt about this. It just was not worth my time trying to make videos and get nothing out of it. Now, obviously I won't be making much money. I probably only get a few hundred, you know, views per video unless I actually to take a video of something that's interesting. You know, some of my videos have a few thousand views, a couple of them even more than that. I know the police station video has at least 50,000 views on it. So, you know, if I can actually come up with some interesting content, then, uh, you know, it might actually be worth my time to to just make some videos. Now, I'm not gonna be doing any, any editing. I'm gonna try and do everything in one take, which means that you're just gonna have to deal with uh, the blunders of my voice and, uh, me stopping just like like I did just now <laughs> having nothing to say so as you can see the city has uh, not changed very much there's just stuff everywhere and I'm so lazy that I'm not even using a tripod I'm just using my hands uh, as you can see Gringotts has also not changed um, but uh, in this side of things uh, there's a lot of sorting going on here this is kind of my life now uh, Apart from my actual job uh, with the Bricklink store, I uh, am I basically buy big lots of bulk and then I go through it, try and pull out valuable things or things that I I want to keep, and then I sell it, and uh, you know, and then I sell the rest on the uh, on the local market, try and try and get rid of these big tubs of bulk. Um, so I think that the uh, contents of this video actually. Um, other than what I've talked about so far, we'll just be showing all of the all of the crap I managed to amass um, over the last year or so. And uh, you know, as you can see, I can hardly even get get to my city. Um, there's big gaps in the train track because uh, at Philly Brickfest, I I had to take a bunch of my nine volt track with me, and I haven't yet set the track back up and put my freight train back so. Uh, now the trains are running because the uh, loops are open right now. Um, I do need to move that that uh, set of drawers. Probably gonna put it somewhere that'll be more useful with my Bricklink store. Um, modulars and everything are still in the same place. I really need to just work on Gringotts because it it needs to happen. Or I can work on one of the other buildings. If I start doing another building, maybe I'll actually have some progress on Diagon Alley. Because it's actually a really beautiful mock. I just kind of ran out of steam halfway, well, not halfway through, but but about, about midway. You know, probably completed a little more than half of it, but still just a lot of work to be done. And, and Gringotts is just frustrating because triangles and Legos uh, do not mix at all. Um... So, I don't know, maybe maybe I'll try and, and do whatever is going to go here next. I don't even remember um, at this point anymore. Um, do have some, uh, just, just a lot of organizational stuff. Uh, just a lot. This is the uh, container of bulk, obviously. And this is after I've gone through it. This this particular batch was actually pretty fun for me to go through because a lot of it was uh, 1990s era and um, the early 2000s. And a lot of those were, were the sets that I would see in catalogs as a kid. Um, and and I would always look at that and just think how cool it was and how I couldn't have that and, and all those types of things. So it's always, I always like when I get things that are in like the early 2000s and late 90s eras because uh, it's always kind of a bit of nostalgia for me. Um, yeah, this actually, uh, this hasn't moved in maybe, maybe a year and a half. So some things are just <laughs> kind of at a standstill. I think probably the closest thing I did to, to, uh, 
working on the mock actually was was uh, updating my stanced car uh, when I was going through one of one of the uh, the bulk bins I found if we can focus here there we go I found one of these engine scoop pieces in dark red and I thought hmm I wonder how that would look on the uh, on the stanced car so that was probably one of the first things I've I've actually worked on and that was maybe about a week ago so you know I I, uh, I actually did did want to work on something and, and then I actually did kind of touch up on a couple other things but overall mocking just hasn't happened at all uh, and and the worst part is is that I keep finding pieces that that I see them and I'm like wow that'd be that'd be great to use and then it just gets freaking stacked up like like all these masonry profile bricks or or as everybody calls them brick bricks I mean they're really nice pieces and you can just they really just add a lot of life to to any any building or a lot of different things actually but you know I just I, I have a whole lot of them that were from one bulk lot and and it makes me want to do more uh more large buildings and I just don't I I just don't have time for it but uh you know it's summer now so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make some time you know I think that I should actually try to uh set my sights on making another building because I need to have some content that's not this boring stuff that's gonna get like 100 views from my most loyal subscribers you know who you are um Surprised that I still have 1,600 subscribers or so, um, even though I haven't posted in in months and months. Um, you know, thank you guys for for hanging in there or just for getting to click unsubscribe. So uh, thank you for that, I guess. But um, hopefully, and I know I said this last time, but hopefully this time you actually will see more from me, and um, I'll actually have some some mocks prepared um, for videos and. Um, you know, if I can actually turn this into something that is fruitful for me, then, you know, you might see more in the future. So thanks a lot for watching as always. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.